The nuclear hotline is the nickname for a direct phone line between the President of the United States and his counterpart in Moscow. Its official name is the Washington-Moscow Direct Communications Link, or Moscow Link, MoLink for short. The hotline is not a voice telephone line at all. The link is text only to avoid a spoken mistranslation or misunderstanding. The link travels over cables from Washington, across the Atlantic Ocean, through London, Copenhagen, Stockholm, and Helsinki, to Moscow. President John F. Kennedy ordered it built during the Cold War, and it led to an unconventional collaboration between engineers in both countries. Delays and misunderstandings during the Cuban Missile Crisis had made clear the need for a direct line of communication between the U.S. and USSR. The first operational message transmitted through the hotline was news of Kennedy's assassination on November 22, 1963. Originally a teletype machine, today the hotline is a secure email system which has seen plenty of usage since its inception. The MoLink proved its worth during the Six-Day War in 1967, when Israel seized large swaths of territory from neighboring countries. On June 8, 1967, Israel accidentally fired on a U.S. electronic surveillance ship, the USS Liberty, killing 34 sailors and injuring 171 others. U.S. officials worried that rescue forces steaming toward the Liberty would be viewed as hostile by Russian vessels in the area. About 20 messages were relayed between leaders as U.S. officials assured their Soviet counterparts that the Liberty rescue was not an escalation. In December 1971, India and Pakistan erupted in full-scale war, with President Richard Nixon siding with Pakistan and the Soviet Union with India. As tensions and casualties grew, Nixon used the MoLink to take a hard line with the Soviets, warning of a potential conflict between the superpowers. The MoLink worked by buying time between the superpowers until Pakistan ultimately surrendered. Two years after the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, the threat of a Soviet invasion of Poland loomed in 1981 as a democratic movement took hold. President Ronald Reagan used the hotline to tell the Kremlin to sit out Poland's internal issues or face grave consequences. Since the establishment of the MoLink, other links have been established between governments around the world. On the MoLink's anniversary and New Year's Eve every year, small greetings are exchanged. But today, the age of the direct communications line has given way to the age of the internet. 